Okay, this is AS stats. We're taking a wee look at how you use calculators then to work out standard deviation, um, variance, and other bits and pieces like that. And we have this Casio calculator here. Um, so first of all, we need to make sure we're in stats mode. So if we go to mode button here and select two, and we want the one variable option. As you can see here, this is brought up just the one we column. If it's a frequency table like this and you need to add an extra column, then you can do that. I'll show you in just a wee second. To be honest, you can even for just a wee list of data, which I'm going to do here, um, you can just use the frequency table one. So if we then go for shift setup and scroll down until we hit stats here, which is number three, that's my frequency on or off. So if I turn the frequency table on, now it kind of appears with two. I would just keep it like this, to be honest, and just work from this from now on. So whenever we hit then each of these things in, so I'm going to go zero. You can't quite see it, and hit equals. So my zero appears, and it just gives you a frequency of one. So it's fine. Uh, one, 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 two, and three. Uh, and that's all my data in, and it tells me the frequency of one then for each of those. Then for a frequency table, whenever we do it a bit later on, then we can just kind of sub in the numbers. So if you go across, you can use your wee kind of uh, cursor here to kind of go up and down and check all your numbers and check everything's fine. The odd thing that people do here, and um, it sort of feels wrong, is you then hit cancel. It seems like everything's disappeared. The way we get all our information back then is we go shift and one and then we can get all the data then that we need so if we hit number two it brings us back to the original data that we've put in cancel out again if we go shift and one uh, whatever it is we want then we can find in from here so if i hit number four and um, there is the number of items so that should come out to be six there is the mean there i think is the population um, and the um, sample and we can sort them from there. So let's take a wee look. So if I hit four and then hit equals, I get 1.03, which of course then is my standard deviation for the sample. Uh, if I cancel out again, shift one, four, number three, not 0.942, then which is my standard deviation for that. Okay, so that's generally how you use it. Um, in order to get rid of all the data, if you want to, you can go Shift 9, um, clear memory, and equals is yes, complete yes, and that's it all done. So let's see if we can put then this information in. So what am I going to do? I'm going into stats mode, which is two, one variable. And it's come up with the two things here, so that's good news. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six. So I go one equals two equals three equals four equals five equals six equals. And then I'm going to go across and fill in the frequencies in that I need for this. Sorry, if you go too high. So one then is two. So it goes two, four, one, five, three, five. So we're going to go two equals four equals one equals five equals three equals five equals and that's all my information then as with last time i hit cancel and if i want to get any of the information i need i go shift on one and again then all my information is then going to be there so let's try something else here if we go for sum that gives me then the sum of all the x squared which can be handy and the sum of all the x's um, if i cancel out of that again shift one, four, n, one equals, of course it's 20, because if you add it all up, you're going to get 20, cancel, shift one, again four, and we get our mean here, so let's go for our mean, and our mean then in this case is 3.9, so that's how you use it then for that calculator.